a heart attack. That's fatal heart impact. Past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past. I back up my actions. Fact, don't ask. Grab reactions. Jack attack with every word. Then act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new soul bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember, you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello, chooms, and well, this is a series a lot of people have recommended me. Before I do start this mini shot, let me just say a few things. I am recording this the same day I posted this thumbnail. I got done watching Edge Runner last night. Go watch that series. It is definitely well something. I will say that much. Now, this series is one a lot of people have asked me to do, and I will be trying to do mini shots for the other series. However, I do need to go through Baki, and I will be doing that very soon, so I can try and make that mini shot. However, right now, I will be trying to do mini shots for the ones I can. Now, with that being said, let us start. We'll start with Izuku Midoriya in Night City. Now, Izuka Midoriya was born somewhere around, let's say, 2059 or even 2058. And in that amount of time, he would basically be around 18 or 19 over 20, 20, 27 rolls around. And with that, Izuku, he lives in Night City. His parents, they were both, well, you know. People on the street. They lived in Night City. They were not corpos. And Deku, he had a bit of a rough life. Gang violence and constant death. In his life, people didn't stay alive for very long. Deku's father lost his life very early in Deku's life. And whenever Izuku's mother was killed, he saw it happen. And that was the day Deku first picked up a gun. And he shot the man in the head. Deku made sure that man was dead, and the people who saw that were part of his parents' crew, they saw Deku empty an entire clip into this person. And Deku, he was taken in. A lot of people knew Izuku as a bit shy, a bit, well, scared of a lot of things, but it was understandable. However, they knew that he was a bit angry. And the fact was, Deku, yeah. Watching that kid pick up a gun, it was surprising. They thought that Deku would be one of those kids who try and get a corpo job. Maybe even just try and do things that wouldn't be part of Night City. However, now he's joined Night City. He's become a part of it by picking up a weapon. And Deku, he does actually make it pretty far. For somebody who is young and has a weapon and gets involved in shootouts very often... He gets pretty far, and there actually is one where he does get his cybernetics installed. And Deku, he actually does do quite a bit of things afterwards, and we do currently pick up with him in the current day, basically 2077. Izuku, he's doing a lot, and right now he currently is running through an alleyway, and he's trying to tell the person to fucking stop, as they're bolting and trying to at least turn and shoot at Deku. And Deku, he's doing his best, as he's going to run a corner and go to look towards the person. The person's spinning around, as Deku, he does get a ring of his gun and fire a shot. And he actually does hear contact. He doesn't hear it hit a wall. He's pretty sure he heard it ricochet off of their metal arm. And the person, they do try to fire back. Deku ducking behind the wall as bullets fly past him. And he does try to keep count. One, two, three, four, five. And then the bullets stop. Deku going to turn and look. The moment he does, the person is gone. Him running back out to try and find him. Okay, that is five. If they haven't reloaded, then they got five left. Okay, that's pretty good. But he's got to be careful with this. Deku going to run and starting to use his cybernetic scanning. 
Whatever Deku does around the corner, he does look for the person. Seeing them and quickly trying to start. Trying to hack them. Or at least trying to cause their cybernetics to somewhat short out. And Deku does begin. Come on, come on. Now, the person is going to turn and bring up the gun. And Deku, he does get the hack. He's about to do it before the person, they're slammed by a car. And they do get sent flying. Deku is seeing that and running over. As the person does get out and walk over. The person lying on the ground, they do try to get up. However, Deku he does walk up and look down at them. Putting his foot directly down and onto their hand. Which was trying to grab at their firearm. Alright. Deku bring the gun up. You got a lot to answer for, Shum. Now stop all right and if you try and hack us i'd highly advise against that two of us one of you and besides Shum, you've pissed me off quite a bit so how about if you try to hack us deku lowering his gun a bit talking about how they'll take something more important from him how about that something that a cybernetic could replace but it wouldn't be as fun to have all right, all right. Jesus Christ. Okay, man. Just, uh, calm down. I am very calm, Shum. Now, hand over what you got. Or, come with us. If the data didn't get fucked up when you got hit, I'll assume you still got it on you. Right, right, right. Uh, just, uh, just let me go. Let me go, man. Sorry, Chum, no can do. Job's a job, and you weren't supposed to bring you in, dead or alive with the data. We'll get more if we bring you in with the data. How much they offering you, man? How many eddies they got on you? Besides, I'll double it. Bullshit. Look at you. Old cyberware? <laughs> Hell. Besides, you smell like piss and oil. I'm pretty sure you don't even have any inhibitors on you, do ya? Come on, man. I'll pay, I'll pay. The man turned to transfer eddies. And Deku, he actually does see a few eddies pop up. Hmm. That's nowhere near what we're being paid. That's all I got on me, man. Come on. Sorry about that, Shum. About a job's a job, I said that. Besides, Deku would have bent down and fire into the knee. Talking about how their employers, they do like whatever they do succeed. And it would be a bit of a mark on his reputation if he came back empty handed. Jesus, dude. Are you really gonna fucking kill him? Dude, it'll be fine. He's got another kneecap. Besides, it's just one. That's to make sure he can't run. You're a bit extre- extreme, man. I'm aware. But come on, we have to be. Besides, we had to be careful with him, and you hit him with a fucking car? What was I supposed to do? Shoot him? This way he's alive. Yeah, and what about the data? If the data's fucked, then we're going to get paid less. Okay, fine. I'll just pull over, get out, and shoot him real quick. Yeah, because that works out so well. You might have hit it in the head if you did that. And that is why I just... Deku turning and putting his gun out. Shooting the guy in the hand. Since he was trying to grab the gun. Okay. We ready to go? Now, the two do ignore the man who's screaming. And Deku just dragged the man back to the car, grabbing his weapon. Him tossing it in the front seat, as his hop in the back was with his new friend. And the two do deliver the guy. Afterwards, the two are talking. So, what are you going to do with your eddies? Not much. Still saving up. Want to get this new cyberware. Really, man? You're going to go to a ripper dock? What you trying to get? I found this one that can get me a good deal. But I'm not too sure about what to do about it. I don't know. I might try to find some pretty good cyberware. I'm thinking about getting those blades in the arm. You sure, sure, dude? What about those fists that make you hit like a truck? I forgot the name of them. 
I think they're called gorilla arms. Really? Uh, I don't know. I've heard them called many things. But, I don't know. I might invest in that lung transplant. Trying to chase this bastard down was pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe. Might be good if we're trying to chase people on foot. But afterwards, you might want to invest in the cybernetic legs. <laughs> Probably. What about you? Got any new cyberware? <laughs> nah. There's some I've had my eye on, but I'm not too sure. Then again, there's some good stuff floating around. I'll have to look into it, but I, I might have a job to do. A job? Really? Without me? Come on, man. It's just a job. Besides, I'm pretty sure this is a solo gig. The employer might be spooked if there's two of us. They're trying to keep it on the down low. So they're hiring a street fixer to do this. Yeah, man. Besides, don't take it personally, Chum. But you, you've got a bit of a rep on you. A reputation, you mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Besides, what is it? You're, uh, pretty fucking intimidating when it comes to talking. Plus, what's the right word? You're well-spoken when you want to be? Of course I am. People don't like a fixer who's stupid. Then again, they try and hire fixers like that so they can fuck them over. Sometimes you gotta put on a bit of an act. And sometimes you gotta know when to talk smart. If they realize that you're smart, then they'll try and pay you better. Because you have a bit more of a comprehension on the job. What the fuck does that even mean? Exactly. It means you know more about the job. You know how to handle it and you know what to do. Besides, they know you'll get creative if you need to. Creative? Sure, Chum. Anyways, I gotta get going. Client needs to be called. And then I gotta get my stuff in order. You think you'll be good here? Yeah, I will. Later, man. Later. Now, Deku does get dropped off by his friend. Him going to turn, go to call for his bike. Whenever it does show up, Deku does go to hop on and get ready. Him going to look and see that his friend does get to pull into an alleyway. And he does understand that his friend might be calling the client. Huh. Maybe he'll be fine. Now, Deku does get a phone call. Him going to start driving as somebody behind him does start to honk. Deku answering the phone is just going to give the bird to the person behind him. And the person they do sound a bit angry, cursing Deku out as he does start to speed down the, down the road. Hmm? What's up? Deku's swerving through traffic. Might have another job for you. You think you're free at the moment? Depends on what it is. What do you need me to do? Bounty hunting, recovery, what is it? Mm -hmm. Asset recovery. Really? What type of asset? High profile, low profile? Mm -hmm. The person's the daughter of a corpo. Daughter of a corpo? Yeah. You good? Just driving. Send me the deets. How much does it pay? Pays pretty well, my friend. 20,000 20, eddies. 20,000? Corpos can do better. Do they know who I am? Yes, they requested you by title. Good. How important is this? We're pretty sure a group of cyber psychos have her. And we're not too sure what's going on with her. <laughs> Alright then. Tell them that I want 30,000. Make it that, or they can just go. You do understand that the client's a high-profile corpo. No, I didn't. You just told me that they're a corpo. If they're high-profile, then I want 50000 Really? You want me to tell a high-profile corpo you want more than double what he's offering you? 
This is important. It's his daughter. And you said he trusts me. So, if he wants me to do my job, I should be paid adequately. Hmm. I see. Well then, I can ask that. However, however, you will be getting your 20%. All right. That's higher than usual 15. Call it risk fee. I do understand. I'll get into contact with the client shortly. And I will tell them exactly what you've told me. Word it a bit better. And sound a lot more professional, please. Hmm. I will. Now, enjoy your day. Sure. I'll see a Ripper Doc. Leave me a message if you can't contact me. Alrighty then. Now, Deku is going to stop his bike. Him hopping off and walking down a staircase. Turning and going through the door. Him walking inside as the Ripper Doc is there. Asking Deku exactly what might he be able to do for him. Shum. Hmm? Hi Doc. Got a lot going on. Really now, kid. What do you need? Not much. Got anything new? Got a few things, friend. However, what do you want? Hmm. Got anything to cover endurance, maybe? Maybe help me increase my speed? Hmm. I got some stuff, but is that it? Got a job. Might have to go after some psychos. Really now? How many? Not sure. They're cyber psychos. Might be high profile, not too sure. Alrighty then. If that's the case, then what do you think I should recommend you? Anything to keep me alive. But I'm not too sure. Okay, okay. How about some armor? Can't be dead if you're bulletproof. Huh. <laughs> Alright. How much will that send me back by? It costs a pretty penny for some good stuff. But you know I will ask for half up front. And the other half whenever it's done. Got you, Doc. Got you. Alright. Transfer in the 80s now. Deku going to do so. As he's going to sit down to the table and the doctors tell him. He's going to put him under for this. Since this stuff, it will be pretty fucking painful. <laughs> Doc, how many times have I been on this table? A few, kid. Now, hold still. Now, Deku does get put to sleep. And as he does so, he does have an incoming call. And he does see the name. He does see that it's his friend. And Deku, he does want to answer it. However, at the current moment, he's a little busy. And Deku, he does wake up shortly afterwards. Him going to sit up and look around. As the doctor tried to tell him to take it easy for a few days. Since that stuff, it is going to be a bit annoying to handle at first. He might notice stiffness, but that's about it. Really, Doc? At all? Yeah, kid. Now, you know the drill by now. Blockers are in the bag. Just... Try to take it easy. This job of yours. How much is paying you? It's paying me good. Not gonna tell you though. Why not? Because you might up your prices on me. <laughs> good job, kid. You passed the test. Now, what do you got going on for you? Not much, Doc. Not much. So... How long should I wait till this stuff uh, kicks in? It's already working its way through your system now. Might take a minute, but that's about it. Should be fine in a few hours. Right. So, here's the other half, Doc. Alright, kid. And remember, repairs ain't cheap. And they aren't free. Come back anytime. <laughs> Alright, Doc. Now. Deku does walk out, checking his messages and seeing that he does have two that are currently unread. 
Deku viewing the first. And he does hear his friend. His friend is calling him and he does hear gunfire. Listen, man. Pick up the goddamn phone. Dude, I am being serious. I need some fucking backup here. It's not funny, man. Pick up the damn phone. I need your help. Fucking hell. This guy's only supposed to be a myth. Shit. Listen, man. I got into some pretty bad shit. These guys have screwed me, and I need help. Get here when you can. Now, Deku does hear a voice. When he doesn't recognize. As it just does call him a meatbag before the audio does cut out. And Deku, he's very alarmed. Shit. Him reading the other message. Hoping that it's from his friends. However, it's not. Hello. Izuku. Yes. I'm assuming that you've seen your doc. And I'm here to inform you. Client has agreed to the job, but they are annoyed. They are willing to pay. I did have to do a little bit of sweet talking. However, they are more than willing to pay the price. But, they do have a bit of a tight time window. And they do want the job done within a few... Hours, you could say. If not immediately. And they are actually willing to up it to 60000 Just to show you on good faith. So, call me back. This job does seem to be very important. And pretty well paying. So, tell me when you can and I'll update you on the information. Now, Deku, he's been annoyed. His friend needs help. And clearly he's dealing with some pretty heavy shit. So he does should think. He still has to wait on his cyberware. Deku will bring up an inhibitor and implanting it directly into his neck. Him waiting a second before trying to somewhat relax. And then going to hop back onto his bike. Him driving to his friend's location and finding the carnage. This entire area, it is fucked. The car, it's been burned out. And from what he can tell, this type of shit, it's from some pretty heavy tech. And he does try to look around. Deku walking around a car that's burned out, looking to see the license plate and knowing that it's his friend's car. Before walking around and seeing a pretty fucked up corpse. The skin's burned and there's metal exposed. Along with the fact that the eyes, they are there. Along with, well, a good portion of the head that was there. At least the top part of the skull is missing. And Deku, he's confused. As he does start to scan the body. And he can tell from a fact that it, but for a fact, that it is his friend. Body may be burned, but some cybernetics, they do identify as his friends. Along with whenever Deku is trying to give it a call, he does hear it. It does somewhat start to buzz, you could say. And Deku, he does look through his friend's corpse. Okay, okay. What do you got for me, friend? You were smart, I know that much. So what did you do? Deku finds something in the burnt-out jacket. Him pulling it out and seeing it. Okay, what the fuck is this? Ah, fuck. I don't know what this is. Alright, this might be useful, though. What else you got? Now, Deku does look down towards the, his friend's fist, and seeing that it's, well, so, somewhat burnt, but his hand is clenched, and the metal, it's not letting up. And Deku just going to bend down and start to pry open the fingers, him doing so and seeing that the palm is somewhat still intact. The hand is made of metal, but it's his friend's port. What the hell? Him picking it up, looking around, before pulling out one of the chips and going to plant it into his own, putting it into his port and going to start scanning through the data. And he does find a recording. It is Adam's fucking smasher. The man is real. Alright, alright. Listen, man. This is bad. This is real fucking bad. I don't know what to tell you, but look at this shit. Him holding with a strange device. This shit right here... Some pretty heavy corporal stuff. He's trying to get me. And I've been fucked over. So, when you can, 
Find me. If you can't find me, I'm dead. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> nice city was always gonna fucking kill both of us. Looks like it got to me first. Alright. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die in a blaze of glory, man. Now. The moment he does gonna say that he is gonna start to turn. Looking directly at Adam Smasher. As the man is gonna hold up a gun. Ask him if he's gonna hand it over the bullshit. Or if he's just going to somewhat sit there and shit his pants like a little bitch. <laughs> well, fuck me. Now, the guy just watches the gun is going to go up. And the moment it does, Adam Smasher does pull his own trigger. And the body is going to go limp. And Deku, he doesn't want to turn his head seeing that. Pulling out the other data slot or the other chip and checking to see what it might be. Okay, this must be your own cyberware. Don't recognize the model, and it's not bugged. <sighs> Alright, man. You really better not have fucking booby trapped this bullshit. Now, they're just gonna pull out that chip. I'm going to slip in the other one and check to see what it might be. And he's very pleasantly surprised. As he's gonna turn and walk away. Okay, so he knows what he needs to do. First, he's gonna do his job, then find out what the fuck this type of shit is. But he's gotta find out who this person is. Make some phone calls, find some connections. Right, okay. Well, the funeral might have to be later. Right now, though, this shit does look pretty important. And with that being said, Deku would drive off, driving back into Night City. As, he does try to think of a way to figure this all out. He's got some data. His friend was able to back it up. And apparently this shit in his friend's hand, it may not be useful. It could be booby-trapped or rigged. Or maybe it's just something useless. Maybe this was left behind for a reason. He can't really tell. But if that guy was Adam Smasher, the fucking Adam Smasher, he would have been thorough. He would have taken this. He would have done something with it. He wouldn't leave behind useless information. That's not his style. It's either he left this behind on purpose, or this isn't what he tried to get. Okay. So, if that's the case, he's got to find somebody he can rely on. Somebody who he can actually trust. But in Night City, that's asking for a fucking miracle. Okay. Well, maybe he can find a good Netrunner. <sighs> that's doubtful. Now, is going to drive down the street. And he does try to make a phone call. And with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next mini shot.